that a little bit later. First we're going to go into the calendar though. Nice large tile there. Dana agenda views and you also have access to full month. And there's a see it a little bit better in landscape mode. You can actually see the text for all the appointments there and you can tap them and get the gist of the day view here. Support for multiple calendars, so you had Exchange and Gmail both. They'd show up in different colors. And uh, I really like the agenda view in, ge in general. It just gives you a very quick overview of what's coming up. And as you switch from day to day, notice that the date changes up top. I activated the camera by long pressing on the shutter button here. Let's just show you. Just point it, press the shutter button part way, it'll get a focus, and you take the photo. Notice how everything slid over to the side. If you drag back, you can get access to all the photos. Some recently taken photos. Nice and sharp. Good details on the macro shots. And you can also uh, pinch it and go into film strip mode, which allows you to more easily and quickly go back and forth. And if you go to the last one, of course, it's the actual live picture. Tap the button up here to switch into video mode. But every time you switch into video mode, it starts out in VGA resolution, so you have to manually switch it over to HD if you want to shoot in HD. I find that to be a real pain because I always want to shoot in HD. So now we're recording a 720p HD video clip, and we'll stop it and take a look at it. Flip over and hit play. Go back to the start screen and go down to pictures, and you can see how the pictures are organized. Some sample photos loaded in there ahead of time. Pull up the ones we just saw, and you can see these same pictures here. You can mark picture as a favorite. And then they'll show up in the favorites view. And if you long press on the pictures text, you can change the background to a particular photo you want or have it choose randomly for you. I'm going to choose one. And there it is. And you should see it in the start screen as well. I'm going to bring up the Zoom player here, show you some of the music capabilities. Of course, you can get to other things too. You can see the Zoom player also does uh, video, so we recently played that video. Um, some albums I have on there that I newly launched, or newly added rather. FM radio as well, right down here. I'm going to go into my music collection. Just like we saw with contacts, you can tap on one of the letters to skip ahead. Album art, just like you would expect. And no landscape mode. Jump back to the start screen. And I'll lock the device. You can see it's still playing in the background. There are now music controls up here at the top. Zoom player can be a little complicated, but um, in general, it's a pretty nice experience once you get used to it. You'll also notice that it picks up images from the music you're playing and uses it for the live tile. Go into the marketplace, that's where you can shop for both music and applications. That's a bit of a problem because um, when you're searching, 
you'll come up with you know a lot of different applications. Even if you search on something like Facebook, you'd be surprised how many tracks there are that mention Facebook or the word Twitter. Um, kind of confusing. But if you go through the normal navigation, you can see just the um, AT&T applications. LG has their own section of applications. All the LG apps and AT&T apps are free. And of course, you can go through and search for applications yourself. A whole bunch of categories here. And you can look at the top apps, just the newest ones, and free ones as well. Let's just grab one of these here and download and install it. And it's pretty simple. You can see it's already downloaded. I could keep shopping while it downloads and installs, but this one was pretty quick. Now it's already done. So if I go back to the start screen, or main menu rather, you'll see the application. It shows up at the end just because that's an alphabetical list. So workout happens to come at the end. And there's the app. Microsoft's Bing Maps is quite nice. Um, makes good use of you know, 3D imaging, um, just really attractive. Go into aerial view, and everything looks really very nice. Uh, does not work in landscape mode though. A little unfortunate. So I'm going to type here, and I'm going to say pizza, and the text is going in. Um, in portrait mode even though I'm typing in landscape mode. And there are some of the pizza results. Now this supports landscape mode so it's kind of kind of annoying. But um, one great thing about the local searches in Bing shows ratings for restaurants, phone numbers, even gives you the hours and everything which is really kind of cool. You can get that from search as well say um, stick with the food thing Dairy Queen all the results come up paid results right there There's, that's an ad but then the um, local results again information like that and I can pin the tile to the home screen so I can quickly get back to it at a later time just by tapping on it, it'll go right there in the maps. This tile down here at the bottom is called Me and allows you to enter in social networking status updates. Uh, right now this is only hooked up to Windows Live, but you could also hook it up to Facebook and it'll pull down Facebook uh, contacts as well. Uh, right now I've just got Windows Live contacts and the ones from my Gmail. There's no built-in support for Twitter or MySpace though. I want to add a status message. I can just type in something quickly and post it. Now if I had a Facebook account linked up as well I could I could specify which one or both accounts to send that update to. So to see that Facebook support I'm going to go back into the people application and swipe over to what's new and here you can see all the updates. Uh, Mobile Burn just posted an update. I can tap on that to see if there are any comments. There aren't any but I can like it and put in a comment myself. You'll notice this is the uh, soft keyboard, the virtual keyboard, and I like it a heck of a lot. It's uh, really quite good. But of course you're going to be using the hardware keyboard for most things on this device. If you're wondering why I haven't mentioned a micro SD memory card slot, that's because there is none. Uh, Windows Phone 7 doesn't support hot swappable memory cards like uh, most other smartphone operating systems. With that said though, the LG Quantum does come with 16 gig of internal storage for music, photos, video, um, applications, and things like that. So that's my look at the LG Quantum for AT&T. It's a really solid device. The hardware is a very good design. Um, not the best looking thing in the world, but um, really solidly built. My only uh, 
thing I take exception to are these little buttons over here on the keyboard, but otherwise I think the keyboard's really fantastic. I, I love the display. It's very sharp, very colorful, uh, good blacks even though it's a regular TFT as well. Uh, the problem though is Windows Phone 7 when it comes to a device like this, it just really does not support landscape mode properly. And